make it like you handling your problems on a daily. Yeah, my shorty say me, got engravings after dating. Like her name was tatted on my soul. She my normal girl on love, girl, who never lost control. Cause a supermodel. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I will be showing you guys how I apply false lashes. But these are not strip lashes, guys. These are individuals false lashes so if you guys want to see how i apply individual lashes then just keep on watching all right guys so i like the Ardell soft touch trials tr trials trios and these are how it looks so i like these lashes because it's more natural i have like short one medium and long one got these at ulta for like five dollars and you could get this at any drugstore by the way they have a lot of options guys like the wispy individuals the double up individuals and a lot more i really love individual lashes because i could customize my lashes how i want them to be and i usually don't like the strip lashes because that's more harder for me i don't know i just have issues applying them still even though i've been trying to practice but i find that these are easier for me because i do them one by one and whenever i have like strip lashes i always like cut them up in twos or threes to put them on because i just find that easily if you guys want to see like a tutorial on that just let me know in the comments below and i will do it for you guys and the lash glue that i really love are these white clear one by duo I usually get the applicator where it has the brush in it, but I couldn't find it, so this was the only one that I could find. So I really like the brush one though because um, it's more convenient and it's easier to like apply it on the lash. And by the way, you guys can find this at any drugstore as well, Ulta, Target, Rite Aid. Okay, so what I usually do first is curl my lashes. So once I finish curling my lashes guys, I put one layer of mascara on and I have been loving this Lash Warrior by Flower. This is how it looks. Very pretty black and gold. You guys know I've been looking for like a mascara that doesn't smudge by the end of the day. Like on the bottom over here because all the others mascara that I try, it does that at the end of the day. But this one guys, it does not. And that's why I really love this. And it was on clearance at Ulta. So I only got it for like $5 as well. Because I think originally it's like $10. But it was on clearance. I should have got more. Maybe I should try going there next time. To see hopefully if it's on sale again. And then get like a couple more. Since I really love it. Besides the smudging guys. I love this mascara because it also lengthens my lashes. And it does not clump my lashes together i really hate that clumpy uh look i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but maybe i should come up closer for you guys to see so as you guys can see this mascara is giving my lashes length and there's no clumpiness and this side i have no mascara on no yeah i don't yeah i don't have mascara on. <laughs> i feel like i can't speak today but yeah i don't have mascara on this one and i barely even have any lashes like you guys can't see my lashes at all. Who else open their mouth when they apply mascara? So now moving on to the lashes. So I'm just putting glue on the cardboard right now. So I zoom in so you guys could see how I apply my lashes. So it depends on the day of how my lashes look. Um, if I'm like missing some areas or like I feel like they don't have lashes at that area, it doesn't look even, that's where I usually apply my lashes. So looking at this eye, oh my goodness, do you guys see the glow though? I'm missing some in the front towards my inner corner right here. So I will be using the short lashes to apply. So I'm going to take the short lashes and I try to be very careful. Just when I say that, I almost dropped it. But I try to be very careful because these are individuals. So I don't want to pull a hair out by accident. 
with the tweezers and then I'm just dipping it into the glue carefully because I don't want to like cover the whole lash and then I'm just letting this get tacky it's easier if it's tacky guys because if it's wet it would be so messy if it's wet and trust me I tried it wet before because I was like so impatient and it did not work out for me so I learned the hard way you know so I always have the mirror down because I want to look down so I could apply this close to my lash line. So just like this guys. Obviously, I don't only put one lashes on because I don't know if you guys can tell it looks weird But I'm going to add one more in the inner corner and then probably a long one or medium on the outer corner So again, I'm just dipping the lash into the glue And then I'm just waiting for it to get tacky Sometimes I'm like so impatient that I even blow on it guys. I don't know. That's how impatient I really am you could even ask Michael. So I'm applying this in the inner corner. So it's just like that. And don't worry if you guys see like white residue because this glue dries up to be clear. And now moving towards my outer corner, I will be using the long lashes. I just noticed this one just have short and medium guys but that's fine though because there's some that has short medium and long i thought i pick up the short medium and long but the short and medium is fine so now i'll be picking up the medium lashes you have to really be careful with these like i say because you don't want to mess the shape of the lashes so it's just the same process as before okay so I think I will be using it right here. So looking at it, depending how you feel, I think I would be using one more medium lashes over here. But yeah, so now I'm just taking my hand and I'm pushing my natural lashes and the false lashes together so it look natural and it doesn't look like I have um, fake lashes on. So once I push them together, I usually like to push them up like this so I could give it a lift and then after that, I will take my lash curler and curl them together as well to like actually secure it you know but yeah so that's how it looks I'm trying to see if I'm missing any other spot like if it looks fine I think I would use like a short one right here because it looked like there's a gap see that's why I say I like to customize it because like you could see where you need like more lashes or not you know So with the individual, as you guys can see, it gives you more of a, like a natural look, like you're not wearing fake lashes. So it's the same process as the other side, so I will be right back. Alright guys, so I just finished the other side. See, it's giving me like a natural look. It's giving length. It looks like my real lashes, as you guys can see. So now you guys know why I love individual lashes. The only downside about the individual lashes is that it's time consuming. And then the strip lash, you just pop it on and then you're done. Anyways, that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys find it really helpful. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave any comments down below and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. You know that you are in existence because you hold a crown. You hold a crown. Yeah. You know that you are in existence cause you hold it down